Hey everybody. It is raining today. So I'm going to try to get this recorded, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. But uh, we're in standard G tuning and we're capable at one. And this is a beautiful song called Freight Train. song we're gonna do it a couple different ways here for everybody um, so for the easiest version broken down if I play it slowly it'll be something like this That's just your basic simple version. Just strum it, throw in some thumbs. Um, as you get faster, do a lot of alternating strings there. Um, a lot of this song I do on the second and first string. And I throw in a lot of thumbs, double thumbs. Now when we go to the E7, I come up top. So the, the first stuff is down here on the first, second, and third string. Then I come up top and alternate between the fourth and third. And I go to F. Back to C. And that C, I'm not doing it at the bottom again, I'm doing it at the top. G7. You know, you can you can have this just a strumming song. Train, 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 running so fast. Freight train, freight train, running so fast. Please don't tell. So you can do this as easy or as hard as you'd like. You can do that simple. You can add in thumbs. And, um, do the alternate string thing that I'm doing on the first and second. Um, and then I'm adding in some thumb and some brushes. And you can also do this if you're really feeling frisky is do some good old finger picking. I like to do it in that alternate string picking pattern that I showed y'all earlier. 
So I like to fly on it too, so here's how that sounds. options here uh, that you can do with this song. Um, beautiful, brilliant song. Uh, the key to getting those notes to come out though is on the first and second string of that first part anyway. emphasize here um, that there's a million ways to play this song in every song I play. Um, you know, I'm trying to give y'all some simple versions and break them down um, so that you can be playing, singing if you'd like, you know, uh, early on. Because I, I believe that that gives you a lot of, um, you know, inspiration and happiness to be able to do that from an early start there and um, sometimes just getting yourself to play and sing a song just boosts you right up makes you want to try new things so if you're sitting there and you're you know I want you to learn the basic claw hammer stroke if you don't know that again shoot on back and do that but um some of these strums you know you on my last video I told y'all to be flexible and I wasn't kidding we're flexible right so do what what you hear, you know, you hear in her her song there. That's the way I'm interpreting it. Okay, I'm hearing those strums. I'm I like that. Um, it, it just accentuates the song for me. Now, is that the basic claw hammer stroke? No, it's not. Remember about the be flexible part? You're going to do all kinds of stuff. And this all kinds of stuff that you're going to do is going to make your stuff sound good. It's going to make it sound really good. Because um, you're going to use variations of everything. And don't be afraid to throw those in. Now, naturally, if you go back and listen to it and you go, ooh, that don't sound right, try again. Um, everybody fails. Everybody fails. But you get back up on that horse, you know. Um, so with this song, as I do with every song, I did this song, let's see, I did this song four or five, no, more than that, about six or six or seven years ago. And I had it on my old channel, which predates Benja Lemonade. But anyway, I took it down. But um, I wanted to redo that because it's a beautiful song and there's so much variation you can do and um, it's just a lot of fun but I want y'all again to know that there's a million ways to do this double thumbing drop thumbing the strumming style um, that's more than just the, the basic claw hammer stroke Throw some, don't be afraid to throw those in there and get that sound out of it. Um, I tried to accentuate some notes to make it a break that you can sort of recognize with the tune of the song. Um, but I'm not making it complicated, y'all. This is, this, I'm trying to give you simpler stuff. But most of all, I want you to always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.